Praise God. Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead your blood on this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all. I'm sitting here spending time with the Lord. And um, if you've seen months ago when I was outside in my back deck and I took a picture of a sunflower I was growing. And while I was taking a picture, God gave me a word for y'all. And it was about that sunflower. And I'm going to go through it again because he told me to. All right. When you give your life to Jesus, you start out in a pot. Your seed just got planted, just got saved. Okay, when you read God's word, study God's word, pray, and do the things God's word tells you to do, you be obedient, and you seek the Lord and spend time with him, you start growing into this big, beautiful sunflower. Okay, and the more you do this stuff, the more you obey God, the more you read his word, the more you pray, you start getting all those seeds that that sunflower has. You get filled up with all that wisdom and knowledge and holiness and love and obedience, you start filling up, okay? And that's not just to keep it to yourself. It's because all these people over here around you in the world are going to hell, okay? So you have the power. I told you as a child of God with the Holy Spirit, you're full of power. You're walking stick of dynamite. I told you that. So these people are lost. Some of them will reject you. Some of them will reject you mock you, make fun of you, but you take this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, love you have, and you spit those seeds out. You spit those seeds out to these people. You witness, you disciple, you love them, you help them. You do whatever, whatever, be like Jesus. Okay, because some of these, I can't draw, you know, I'm trying to say some of these will come, to, will come. They'll come to Jesus. Some of them will. Some of them will have to hit the bottom before they come, but they'll never forget what you said and what they, how they saw you. Like, um, let me, let me tell you this. Mark chapter 12, verse 29 through 31. Jesus said, Jesus answered him, said, first of all, the commandments is here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, and the Lord is one. And you shall, here you go. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. That's everything you got, y'all. How do you do it? What I just told you. You get in his word. You study. You pray. You seek him. You want to know what you need to do. So you go in here and find it. Okay? You grow. You learn. Okay? And then... And he said, this is the first greatest commandment to love God with all your heart, everything you got. And then the second one is like it. He said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these two. Okay. So Jesus Christ taught his followers about two important commandments regarding love. Okay. Jesus was, he, he was this, this was us. We're going to hell. Jesus came and suffered, y'all. He really suffered and had to face that death that we're all afraid to face, right? Most of us are afraid to face that kind of persecution and death. But he did it. He did it so that we can come to go to heaven. Okay? So the first greatest commandment is that we love God with our heart, soul, and mind and strength. And this is not something that we can do, y'all, without the Holy Spirit working in you. Can't do it on your own. All right. The, the second commandment of love is that we are to love our neighbors as ourselves. Okay. So in a, in a me first society that we live in, me, 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 this is a radical concept, right? But Jesus tells us that not only are we to reach out and love others, but we are to love them as we love ourselves. Do you know what that means? Help the people, love the people. Reach out to the people. You know, it's the kingdom love that Christ is talking about. A love that's concerned with the highest good of people from God's perspective. God's love is the most wondrous and powerful of all love because it's an everlasting love, y'all. It's an everlasting love. So I want to um, go over that with you. I got to find one more thing here. Well, I can't find it right now. 
But, you know, we're going to go over some of this stuff tonight in the Google Meet class. If you can come to, to the Google Meet class, all you do is download Google Meet. It's free. Go look on my um, community page here. You find it at the top. It says, go to my channel. Look at the top. It says community. Click on it. You'll see some stuff I posted there. And you have to look um, where it says Google Meet information. You got to read it in the comment section. I put the link there because they won't let me post it. On a regular post, I got to put in the comment section. And just come on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what time that's where all y'all are, but just pop on, you know. And we can say things that we can't say here on YouTube, which is nothing bad. But, you know, anything you say good, they don't block you for, you know. And uh, we could be together there. We could grow. Okay. And... So Jesus was very adamant about, this is us. This represents us, okay? We are to get planted, get saved, and, and read and study, pray, and grow. And not just read, study, and pray only, but do the things the Word of God says to do, okay? And we grow, and we come full of all this stuff right here, full of it, all them seeds, right? But it's not just for us to sit here and hold and harbor. It's for us to spit the seeds out everywhere, spit it out and you're like, well, what if I'm too shy? Then you be the light that you are. When there's negative circumstances around you, when something happens to you, you show your faith, show your strength that God has given you. Seek God for that strength because you can only get it from him. Be a light. Okay. When others are around you sinning big time, don't you do it. Tell them how much Jesus loves them and why you don't want to do it. You know, be a witness, a disciple. Just love God. How do you do that? You just love God with everything you got. Love the Lord, y'all. Okay? And, and, and they will see you because, you know, a, a, a tree is judged by its fruit. Okay? And you can read that in Luke chapter 6. Um, yeah. It'll start telling you in verse 43. It'll go on. Talking about a, uh, a tree is known by its fruit. You know, when you see an apple tree, you know that's an apple tree. How? Because it got apples on it. If you see a banana tree, you know it's a banana because it got bananas on it. Okay, so when they see you talk about you being a tree, they'll know you're a Christian, that you're a lover of Jesus Christ, that you're a worshiper, a servant of the Lord because of the fruit on your tree, your life, the way you live it. That's what he means. A tree is known by the fruit it bears. So we bear godly fruit. So when people look at me that don't know me, they know um, she's a Christian. That girl's got to be a Christian. She must be a Christian. Yeah. So, and that's what that's how it should be. All right. So I just wanted to remind you all of that. Uh, be looking for the Google Meet tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Y'all come on. Have your notebooks, your pens, your Bibles. And we spend time, you know, we'll do a little lesson and then we go into some prayer time and whatever some of y'all need to talk about. It's time to get together where I can hear you, you can hear me, and we can be together. And don't got to worry about what we say. All right. So if you don't know Jesus, ask him. Ask him to save you. Okay. And then start growing that tree you got. Start growing some fruit. You know, spring will be up on us pretty soon. Let's see when them uh, fruits start budding out. All right. That's what he wants to see. Jesus does, y'all. And he deserves it. All right? In Jesus' name, God bless each one of you. Thank those of you for what you've done. Uh, anything else you need to know is in the description. God bless you all.